The other important issue which needs to be addressed is if we look at broad financing uh, trends in infrastructure, private sector investment has hovered around 20 to 25 percent. This definitely needs to increase if the strain on government finances is to reduce. There could be various ways of doing this, and we do hope to see some of them in the forthcoming budget. Uh, one clearly would be enhancing credit guarantee facilities uh, so that, you know, on the back of credit guarantees, private investors could take a fresh look at some projects which may not meet their current uh, credit uh, uh, rating guidelines. Typical example is the domestic pension fund sector, which usually does not invest in projects uh, below a AA rating. And Leveraging credit guarantees, uh, projects which are a notch below could possibly meet that rating threshold, thereby attracting investments from domestic pension funds. That's just one example. There are multiple countries which have adopted this kind of single window credit guarantee facilities for infrastructure projects being implemented on a public-private partnership basis. And I do feel that maybe India should take a look at that because that is one uh, potential way of increasing private investments. The second area which comes to my mind, of course, is uh, in terms of a securitization platform, which can buy out loans from banks and NBFCs, which are main financiers of the infrastructure sector today. And once those loans are bought out, uh, they could be structured into asset-backed securities for onward issuance to both institutional and retail investors. Uh, countries like Singapore have tried this uh, successfully, and this has helped create additional uh, financing avenues for infrastructure from private investors. Both these mechanisms, if uh, they are scaled up, would require suitable tax incentives to be offered to such platforms, whether it is on uh, income from credit guarantee uh, being offered or whether it is on, uh, you know, uh, capital gains on the pass through certificates, etc. Uh, but this is definitely a couple. These are definitely a couple of options which can help attract higher private investment in infrastructure and capex spending.